Hey guys, how's it going? Tim here from Droid Life, and today we are taking a look at the software features on the Huawei Watch. So this is for uh, Huawei's first Android Wear device, and all the other companies, LG, Motorola, Samsung, they've made a few wearables in their time, and, and while Huawei has also made a few wearables, this is their first real bid in the Android Wear department, and so far, it's pretty sweet. Um, it is running stock Android Wear 1.3, which runs on Android 5.1.1. So it's the updated version, and Huawei claims that you know for you know, a few years, hopefully, um, it will remain up to date thanks to the Snapdragon 400 processor, 512 megabytes of RAM. It's a beastly little device. And while Huawei did not bake in any real special functions, although it does have a heart rate monitor there on the back, so when you're wearing it, you can just simply tap and get your heart rate. Um, there's nothing too crazy. Basic Android Wear. If you've played with Android Wear on Moto 360 first gen, second gen, Zen Watch, G Watch, G Watch R, any other device, you'll basically already know exactly what to expect. Um, the one thing that is quite nice is that Huawei baked in about 40 custom watch faces. So, say if you don't know Android Wear, we'll just go through basically what it offers you. So, when you boot it up and you're on the, say, home screen or the uh, home page here, um, you can long press and that will um, get you to access all of the different uh, watch faces. You can scroll through, and like I said, Huawei built in about 40 of them. You know, they're all actually pretty nice and all serve their own little purpose. Um, a few of them have different complications, such as time zones. Some will show the uh, some will show the device uh, battery left. Some will show um, different notifications, like if you have any missed phone calls. This one, I believe it's called Moon Phase. It has a little pedometer on there. It shows the uh, how many steps you've taken shows what day of the week, shows how much battery, and it also show, shows the phase of the moon, which is, you know, I'm no astronomer, but it does look nice. So, uh, diving in a little bit further, so when you scroll down from the top, this is where you access, uh, access your notifi uh, notification toggles. So over here we have do not disturb, the star in the middle is your priority notifications, and on the right, all notifications. And if we keep swiping, we can get to theater mode. Theater mode is pretty simplistic. When you're in a theater, you can turn on theater mode. Your display won't turn on. You won't get any notifications. Perfect, um, just so you don't interrupt anyone who's trying to enjoy uh, a movie. Uh, going a little bit further here. Brightness boost. When you're outside, hit brightness boost, and the brightness will get turned on uh, to the max setting. And all the way at the right, we go into settings. Settings, your basic settings, adjust brightness, change of watch face, font size, Wi-Fi settings, the device does feature Wi-Fi, Bluetooth settings, always on or always off, wrist gestures, so that's when you uh, you can turn it on, and then also you can go th scroll through your notifications by bumping it down or bumping it up. Um, pretty sweet. Accessibility, screen lock, factory reset, restart, and then you're about. We'll dive in here. We'll go to versions. I'll show you that it is running Android Wear version 1.3 on Android OS 5.1.1, running Google Play Services 8.1.15. So when we go out and we are on our home screen again, your notifications kind of come up in a ticker fashion. So we can swipe through these. See, you can take 10 steps today. Um, Giants beat the, well they did not beat it, it was in the second inning, so uh, when you have notifications such as this, you can simply swipe them away. If you accidentally swipe away and need that back, it says dismissing, you can click undo and that will come back. Also if you really want to get rid of it, you just swipe it two times and, uh, and that'll do it. 49ers um, did not do so hot. There's your weather, you can swipe through to get a week forecast. And um, basically, that's it. Anything you don't like, you can just swipe away. No real problem. Um, when you're on the home screen and you swipe from the right to the left, you get into more of like the app drawer. And so the first one is the app drawer. Uh, the quick access to settings is there. If you want to take your heart rate, you just tap on that. And um, when you are wearing the watch, then you simply hit check. And then it's measuring. But since it's not on my wrist, it'd be kind of hard to check the heart rate. So moving on, we also have agenda, alarm, daily tracking. That is a Huawei watch uh, feature. You have your find my phone, fit, fitness tracking. 
all of these um, are come straight from your smartphone so a lot of extensions if you will some of them are built in natively um, Android Wear does allow native application usage so that is a major plus so it's a good watch for fitness although the the black leather and the stainless steel I don't know if it's too like worthy of the gym um, but hey if that's what you want to do um, Google Hangouts keep maps you can access your maps offline you can get a little night mode going on um, basically that's it for the app launcher in the middle section of when you swipe right that's where you're going to get your recent contacts and there you can start up calls or um, message them through hangouts and then on the right side you have all of your voice actions so these are just basic little um, ideas of what you can perform when you want to do a few voice actions and of course to start that um, you would just go OK Google and then it will pop you over to you know, it'll bring up the bloop bloop and then you can speak whatever you need it uh, need to ask it so we can try one more time see if it's gonna be responsive I have it uh, disconnected right now that way no notifications pop up and bother us so okay Google and of course making me look like a fool but when it is working you'll see that uh, it's listening but um, it can't talk to the cloud right now because it's in airplane mode so um, you know, basically, Android Wear, it's a very simplistic wearable OS. There's nothing too crazy, although in terms of wearables, it does do, you know, quite a bit. Um, there's always new apps coming out and new little things that Google's showing off that you can do. So, basically, Huawei, they added in a ton of watch faces. They added in a few tracking features um, for fitness. So, starting price... 349 for this model going all the way up to 799 for the rose gold model which comes out uh, a little later this year but uh, if you're feeling the Huawei watch feel free to pick one up just know that uh, you are getting that stock Android Wear 1.3 software and um, nothing else is too crazy um, if you guys have any questions or comments feel free to leave them in the section below and until then enjoy life peace